joining me. We're going to be giving it a go with a new blog for Pig Scotch Fishery. Um, got to move with the times. I'm, I might be a child of the 90s, but I think I have the farmer's mentality that I'm quite stuck in my way. Despite being the ripe old age of 30 odd, really should know better. And this is the sort of thing that we should be doing. Um, so I'm hoping I can give you a little bit of an insight into what we get up to on a daily basis. So this is, uh, where are we at the moment? It's sort of early May. Um, it's been quite a cold start to the year. Um, cold, wet, just horrible, miserable weather. So it's beginning of May, sun's finally out. Got the coronation weekend this week. We've had a very busy week this week, just gone. Uh, with the first bank holiday. There's another bank holiday coming, so it's always quite a busy time for us. It's a popular time for fishing, as long as the weather's good. So midweek's generally when we try and do all our little bits and pieces. All the bits of work, odd jobs, cutting grass, cutting hedges. Um, just stuff that we have to do sort of behind the scenes when you're not here. Because generally that's when the work's done. You, you, we try and do it so that you don't actually see us doing the work because you don't really want us coming behind you with a dirty big hedge cutter when you're trying to fish and have a peaceful day's fishing. So approximately four or five years ago, uh, we refurbished our Barrow Lake and we had a problem with uh, blanket weed in there. Um, we took diggers in, took it right back to the clay, refilled it, it was a lovely polished off clean lake um give it two or three years it was somewhere i think it was around early 2020 when the uh, lockdown the first lockdown took place um we were walking around quite regularly just keeping an eye on the place and we could see these dark shadows forming on the barrow lake in the water I thought, well that's strange it looks like we've got weed back uh, it wasn't blanket weed though um it was a weed called spike milfoil which is a it's quite an invasive weed it's got very thick stems um and it grows at an incredibly rapid rate. And the trouble is, we found that people were starting to get caught and snagged on this. Um, and it will actually break to the surface. And it's quite interesting. When I've been in the lake, um, I sort of waded in just to sort of see, is this something that we can rake out? Sort of how does it respond to that? How thick is it? Um, and in the summer, you get these little flowers. Though they actually break the surface and there's small flowers. Um, the bees that we've got on site on our beehives absolutely love them so these flowers are covered in bees um, but when you rake the weed there's very little life in it it's not like it's full of naturals like you see it in blanket weed like on our s lake um, often when you you know you reel in and you you have a look at the weed you'll see all sorts of life in there it's a good food source for the fish this isn't the case with the spike milfoil it's quite devoid of life it's a very strange weed um, so in the hope of trying to combat this, because it's, it's a really problematic uh, plant that we've got in there, um, because when you break it or you cut it, it can self-root. So you can often make the problem worse. This is something that I've experienced having spent a couple of days trying to rake it out. It's quite an unforgiving and it's not a very thankful job when you're actually encouraging the spread of the plant. So what we're gonna to try today is I've had a delivery um, of some lake dye. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dye the lake uh, a lovely shade of blue. It's gonna look very tropical. It's not really something I like doing. We've done it once before with the blanket weed and my personal experience with it was that it didn't necessarily eradicate the weed. It's often mentioned by anglers that, oh, you know, dye the lake, it will kill off the weed. Doesn't tend to kill off the weed. Trouble with Barrow Lake, it's fairly shallow in a lot of places, probably three, four foot in depth. So this means that despite having sort of uh, turbidity in the water, it'll be quite colored. Um, you'll find the light can still find the lake bed because it's shallow. I'm sure in deeper lakes, it probably works better, but nevertheless, I'm still gonna try giving it a go. We're gonna dye it. I doubt it's gonna clear the weed, but my hope is that it will possibly buy us an extra month where the weed's quite low lying and you get a bit of extra easier fishing. 
It's not to say it's not easy down there. It's probably our easiest lake, especially on the surface. It's great for surface fishing. Um, so yeah, we'll give it a go. I'll show you the delivery. Okay, so uh, we've ordered this from Diafix, which has just turned out, it was very quick. Now it's amazing, this little box, I'll show you here. This little box will treat Barrow Lake. It's quite scary how well this stuff works. Well, I remember using it in the past. It comes in these little sachets. Let's see if I can take one out. So that's one of the sachets. It's, it's effectively just a solid PVA bag. Um, this stuff, it's got the dye in there. It's, it's in a powder. And you just chuck these in the lake. A big PVA bag melts and then the dye itself, the powder, uh, will start dispersing around the lake. Um, it's, you can see it on my fingers there, so it's a very strong dye. This is all food grade colouring, so it's absolutely fine for the lake. It does no harm to the lake. Um, wildlife, absolutely fine. This is staining my fingers right now. Once this has been dissolved in the lake, it doesn't taint, it leaves, you, we've never seen a watermark when we've used it in the past. Um, so yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're down on Barrow Lake. See, grass just cut by dad yesterday. Yeah, it's looking lovely down here at the moment, really lush. See the swims doing really well. We used to have bark in here, but found it just rotted. So we've gone back to what we normally do, just a bit of type one in there. Yeah, it's looking really nice. You can see a lot of the marginal plants we put in. Got some flag iris down here. That's coming along really nicely. These are used just to hold the bank in place. It stops bank side erosion. And yeah, it's looking really good. So we find on Barrett Lake, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see any. This is a problem we have on this lake. It's this stuff. This is called spike milfoil it's got quite a coarse stem on it right, let's focus in there this is the sort of thing you get snagged on when you're fishing and generally whenever I brought this stuff in you don't find any life in it it's just thick horrible stuff that it's everywhere on the lake I mean it originally when we first saw it it came up in this top corner up here so this is the shallowest point where it established itself and it just crept along the lake and generally the bed runs all the way through here it avoids this back channel this is the deepest part of the lake where it's a little deeper um, at the moment that's been fairly good so what we're gonna do we're gonna chuck in some of this stuff and I brought gloves with me now because I've realized that it's absolutely super strong and it sticks to your skin I don't really want to look like a smurf if I can help it. So we're going to chuck it in and we'll keep you updated. It's amazing, we just chucked this in about five minutes ago. See how quickly it starts to spread looks to be holding right in the sort of upper layer of the lake. Normally around here we see a few fish. I think that's one. Oh, there we go, that's one there. Love sitting in this corner. Quite often when you're fishing, it's worth fishing down this way, especially with some mixers. You'll see it in the summer down this reed line. The twigs will often be sort of twitching, so you you can tell pretty quickly where they are on this one. They tend to hold right in the upper layers of the lake. I think the weed causes a lot of that, where it's preventing the, the fish from holding down on the bottom. They tend to spend their time a little higher up. So we need to go drop some bread or dog biscuits in. They're more than happy to take them. See some of it there very quick. One thing I don't like about it is just how easy this is. Because generally that that doesn't bode well for something. 
see our little fire pit ready for the go. It's quite nice for a little session. Down on the barrel lake. So that's the dye done. Hopefully it works, who knows? I'll give it a bash. Don't say we don't do anything for the weed because we took the diggers in on this one and it was out of action for about 18 months. So you try and stop nature and nature will always find a way around you. Doesn't matter what you do, you make up. So this is approximately two hours later. You can see it's really settled in very quickly. Show down there, you can start to see the color change in the lake. So let's see how it gets on.